Medicine Hat City Council is made up of nine men all over the age of 30. It's a concern for youth like Savannah Holland who is avid on social media sites like Facebook and Twitter about local issues. She says the council can't relate to her generation, making their voices go unheard. I know according to the 2010 Vital Signs Report, 34.2% uh, of youth in our city feel like they're picked on and discriminated against. Um, I think they need more of a vocal platform where they can bring issues to the attention of people that can make things happen. That's exactly what Council is trying to do. A proposal by the Public Services Committee would see a new group made up of people aged 16 to 25 that would advise Council of their concerns. I visited all three city high school student councils and the college student advisor, student association, and there is great interest. They, they like the idea of being involved. The idea might sound familiar. That's because a similar committee was formed back in 2005. Now the major difference was that that committee only reported to the mayor. The proposal is for the new committee to meet with both aldermen and the staff through the Public Services Committee and the Social Development Advisory Board. The idea being that recreation tops the list of issues most important to youths. Think about the things that, uh, that are most pertinent to young people. The recreation master plan, recreational facilities, uh, all of those kinds of issues that uh, appeal to young people. Uh, should we have another skateboard park on the other side of the river? According to the Vital Sciences, again, 60.5% um, of youth in Medicine Hat feel like there's not enough cultural or recreational options available to them. Um, that way they can kind of make it known what what would interest them. The proposal is for two representatives from each high school student council, the college's students association and some young entrepreneurs to meet once a month. The council uh, uh, supports the recommendation and the terms of reference will be fleshed out by the staff and we'll go from there and ask, uh, I would think probably early in the fall for uh, appointments to it and uh, or it may be just the, the, the usual process in November and December. And Alderman Les Pearson admits he hopes it benefits more than just the city as a whole. He says he'd like to see some of those on the new committee evolve and become aldermen or even mayor. Brianna Carsten-Smith, Chat News.